Hey YouTube family, this is Natural Lux Diva and I've come back to do a what's in my handbag video. I'm going to show you what fits inside of my Louis Vuitton Terrain PM. But before I get started, I wanted to show you the shoe that I was waiting on um, to come in because it actually came in the next day. This is the Uggs Elena. And I told you I saw this in Oprah's Favorite Things, and it is such a beautiful shoe. The color is chestnut, and it has this, the uh, tie right here. There's the little uh, gold Uggs logo right there, and you can wear these down, or you can wear these up. This is what my husband Uggs look like, and I think these are called the Grant Slipper. And they're almost alike. I have some pink Ugg boots that I got a couple years ago and I really love them. So I was really excited to get the Elena slipper. Also, I wanted to show you my husband's rose gold watch. I got this for him earlier this year um, for his birthday. And I didn't know that they made rose gold watches for men. It's in Saks Fifth Avenue and um, I happened to see it. And it is really beautiful. It's quite heavy. At first, I didn't know if he would like it because it's rose gold, and I tell you, he has gotten a lot of compliments on it. Okay, so let's get started. This is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Terrain PM, and it comes in three sizes. The PM size is the only one with the D-ring inside of it. First thing I have in here, which I am doubling as a wallet, is my Louis Vuitton Agenda. And I have not gotten the refills for 2015 yet. I'm still deciding. I think I like the writing paper a lot better than the calendar. So I may, instead of getting the calendar, I may just get the writing paper. There is my Tiffany & Company ink pen. And it's still going strong. Okay, this is my um, multicolor clay in Noir. I use this to keep loyalty cards in. Next thing is my checkbook. My book for passwords and personal information. I have a little prayer book in here for a little short prayer. I have my little mini emergency kit. I did the 500 point perk um, at Sephora and they gave me some nice goodies inside of it. And I use it to hold my small traveling perfumes. I have the Bulgari perfume and I have the Chanel travel spray inside of it. I have my Chanel translucent powder and I love this powder. I have a jump drive. I have this Bliss Body Butter Hand Cream and this is amazing. I have an extra ink pen. I have my size 15 toiletry pouch. This is the YSL in number 11 and this color is called Beige Instinct. The next thing is a brand new lipstick that I got from a Back to Matte and I'm actually wearing it now and it's a satin and this color is called Film Noir. It's a swatch of Film Noir and it's really really smooth. It has that satiny finish. And the next one is the one that I showed you on Christmas Day, and this color is called Sin, and Sin is a matte film. A mini lip balm by Marc Jacobs, and this is called Lip Lock. I have my purse holder, another hand cream, some lens wipes, personal goods, my miniature nail files, and a hair scrunchie. I have some gum, receipts, and I have this cute little soft lip cube, and this is in pomegranate blueberry. I have my YSL mirror that came with the point perk. This is what it looked like on the back. Cell phone holder. My iPhone 5S. And I will be upgrading my phone soon, but I wanted to wait um, until next month. It's next week, actually. Um, I wanted to wait because I didn't want to give up my unlimited data. I have my meds. I have some change floating around in my purse. Here's the D-ring. And I use that to hold my keys. I did my unboxing. I did tell you that this bag was made in France. If it was made anywhere else, I still would have gotten it because I love the handbag so much. This is what the terrain looks like without the strap on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Hardware is just beautiful. I love the pleating. I love the style of the bag. It has that really nice piping along the side of it and the adjustable strap. And when I'm not using the bag, I keep it in the dust bag. Those were the instructions that are online as well as what they told me in the store. That's how you keep your bags nice. If you waste something on it, you use a soft cloth with something like ivory soap to wipe off the canvas. As far as the leather, um, they do say if you spill some water on it, get a soft cloth 
and wipe it off so that it can dry evenly. It won't leave stains on it. On the crook of my arm as well as across my shoulder and as a shoulder bag. I'm really pleased. I really love it and to me it was a great investment. So that's what fits inside of my Terrain PM bag. Uh, this size is perfect for me. I've had shoulder surgery. I just don't do well with really big bags anymore. I will be coming back to show you what fits inside of my 26 pouch as well. I had a chance to use it today and I really enjoyed it. So that's it. I hope that your weekend is going well. You all take care. Peace and blessings. Bye bye.